Everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming. I want to do a video for The Walking Dead Road to Survival, and this is Telltale Part 2, Act 1, Stages number 1, 2, and 3. And you can see a little bit of the uh, storyline here. Uh, we're on a train, so uh, train seems to be the issue, and uh, we've got to disconnect some carts or something, and then surrounded by walkers for the first three stages. So as predicted, this is going to be, all of these are going to be green and yellow, uh, this is not my strong suit, so you can see I'm piecing some things together here. It'll probably, the team dynamic will probably change a little bit as I get further into this. I'll sub some people out, like I got Dr. Stevens here now, I'll go with him. I'm going to bring Josh in, I'm going to level Chuck up a little bit more. But because it's walkers, I'm going to go ahead and equip, you know, the items that I would probably normally bring, which is going to be a bloody shirt, won't need it, and also the uh, nitric oxide, which is going to give me more crit. So a little bit about this team, I got two uh, Michons. Uh, one Michonne gives uh, my whole team plus 24 crit. That's the uh, four star. And then, you know, Chuck is relatively new. Maggie is going to give us some defense a little bit later on. She'll probably be good for human versus human. Dr. Stevens will be our primary healer, which will be good human versus human as well, too. But not a lot of uh, benefit from the Walker team. So I'll sit him down after this. And you can see pretty straightforward stuff. First couple waves. Um, I will tell you these obstacles are going to be a little bit of a pain. Because um, even in the, the beginning of it, uh, had to use some extra attacks and just sort of wait it out for them to get in range. But the extra crit, no problem there. So first three waves down, stage number one, pretty much joke mode. So moving on to stage number two. And let's go ahead and sit down Dr. Stevens and bring, you know, I do have a Josh that's a tier three, so he's, he's pretty legit. Let's give him a crit weapon. And also, I think he adds a little extra attack and defense, so I may uh, switch them once I get a human character and make Josh the leader. Still bring the Michons along because, you know, they're pretty strong and are higher rated characters. But, um, yeah, I have to figure out. Maybe I'll sit down Chuck once I do the human versus human and bring Josh in, have Michons, and then bring Dr. Stevens back in. But you can see this way, pretty easy. Eleven walkers, left and right side. Lee with a nice uh, deep strike there. So, yeah, you know, it's not a crit, but, you know, if he's hitting over a 1,000, he's still going to kill these low-level walkers. So stage two, no real issue there. Check the storyline here. We've got a muscle booster. And, uh, yeah, we're trying to get this train disconnected. So we've got Omid in this one. So it's nice. At least we got a range character, so we can shoot over the top of some of these wood piles whenever we kill them so fast. So this is going to be four waves, only real difference, and they're moving a little bit quicker here, which is a good thing, so I don't have to waste too many attacks. So moving on to wave number three, wave number three, 12 walkers. Nice pile of rocks right in the middle there. Makes it a little bit challenging. Figure out which direction they're going to go, who they're going to attack. And 12 walkers down. So this is the fourth and final wave of this video in the stage, first three stages. That was a nice round of crits there. So eight walkers down, and you can see we're down to the last walker, and we'll let uh, Omid go ahead and take those down. So thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Telltale Part 2, Stage 1, um, sorry, Act 1, Stage number 1, 2, and 3. Stay tuned for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up, and leave your comments below. Peace.